Today we're going to be talking about how to take hold with your partner. It's a very important topic and something that we spend a lot of time talking and practicing. The topics that we're going to discuss today and the ideas that we're going to give you are a general system that can be applied to dancers anywhere from beginners to intermediate level dancers. The very first thing when it comes to taking up hold with your partner is actually has nothing to do with your partner. It's got to do with yourself. And this relates actually more about posture and about energy. So the very first thing that we want to do before we take up hold with our partner is to feel connected to the floor so that we have foot pressure. So maybe that might involve going onto your toes briefly and then putting that weight back down onto the flat foot. And it's also going to involve, you know, activating your core muscles and this should help you to actually relax your shoulders and set up your personal posture the very first thing that's important is that the man offers a hand to the lady and then will invite the lady to come into the man so the first thing that i will want to do is i will want to ensure that i present an open hand to my partner not a closed hand so you can see i've made a difference with my thumb so i'm going to present an open hand to Talisa. so if I set up my personal posture and Talissa does the same thing, I will open my pre present my open hand to the lady and she will connect to that. That's it. Let me have a try one more time. I present my open hand to the lady. That's it. Very nice. And then I will invite the lady into position. When the man presents his hand to me, I again already have that personal posture i want to feel that my back is open and ready to dance closed position i make sure that when i approach my man's hand i'm looking for that l shape that jonathan discussed i'm thinking mainly about that third finger in my hand and angling that down towards the man's wrist that simply closes um, the hand and creates a firm position this might be slightly different for everyone. It may be more comfortable to cross the thumbs. It may be more comfortable to have them side by side. As long as you have a compact and comfortable hand position, you're, you're in the right space. It's very important that the man also indicates to the lady very clearly where she is supposed to go. How do we do this? It's done by a number of things. The first thing is that we create space on both sides of the body. So when I invite the lady into me, I'm actually presenting my left side towards the lady and I will open my right arm and this combination of things will tell the lady that this is where I want her to go. I want her to be on the right side of my body. I don't want the lady to be in front of my body or central. So I'll show you very quickly. We will show you very quickly if I do it incorrectly and I don't tell the lady clear enough where to go. So, that I think that's probably quite clear. Is You can see that Talissa is in front of me too much. So we have a very central position and you can actually see that my head is basically <laughs> hidden. So if we try it one more time, I will present a stronger left side to my partner. This will include some uh, degree of rotation. And this will indicate to Talissa that I want her to be on my right side. Much better. So now I feel that we are very, very big and very, very wide on each other. I'm very aware of this lead that uh, Jonathan, Jonathan gives me. That rotation really sets up where I need to walk in. And I also think about when walking into that position, I aim, Jonathan has his arm extended, I aim for somewhere just inside where his elbow is for my left foot. So very clearly he will have that rotation as I walk in and I aim my left foot for there and then angle my body to my partner. Tulsa and I very strongly believe also that we have a 50-50 responsibility for assuming our correct position. So just as Tulsa described, I 
need to indicate to her where she needs to go, but in the same time, Tilton must know where she needs to go, and uh, she must do that even if I don't, don't do it very well myself. Just one more final thing to, to, to discuss when taking a poll with your partner is arm position. With regards to each of us doing our own job, both of us must connect our arms to our own body. In particular, our left arms. So my left arm, particularly my left elbow, and particularly Talisa's left elbow, must be very strongly connected to ourself. So I will now show you if I do this badly. So maybe I will do this from the side, side view. So I will offer my hands to Talisa. If I bring Talisa in, but my left arm is not connected to my body, yeah. So my left arm is now out of position. So if we just turn it around, that's it. This might remind you of a lower level dancer. If you've, if you've seen one or if you're a lower level dancer yourself, something doesn't look right. It doesn't look balanced. Okay, so my left arm actually looks too big and too far forward. And it causes my arm to be too far backwards behind my body. Yeah, so at the same time, we don't want to go too extreme and actually put the arm behind the body. This is not going to be very effective either. But more or less in line with the shoulder is what we're aiming for. If we do it one more time from the side on, this one will hopefully will be a better one. I bring my left elbow in line with my body. That's it. And Talisa is just doing the same thing. There's one important thing to note in terms of the arms for the lady that's very different to the man and it often has to do with the height difference of the man and lady. Uh, so in most couples, I mean there's obviously a lot of variety in couples, but the man is generally a little bit taller than the lady. So the lady is always going to feel that her arms are slightly higher than her shoulders and that's okay. You need to make sure that they're never ever lower than your shoulders. They're at least in line, but if they're higher to match your man, that's the correct place for them. Yeah, it's very important that the man's frame, meaning from elbow to elbow, is what's very important, that we want it to be symmetrical. And the aesthetic line that we want to have is from elbow to elbow at the shoulder height. So if I just turn it around, from elbow to elbow, this is very important for the man's position and to offer a structure that is going to be reliable and clear for the lady. So if I do that again, but my elbows are too low, now my structure is actually too weak. It's not going to be very clear for the lady and it's also not going to look right for myself. So in order for my elbow line to be correct, Talisa's elbow line will actually be slightly higher than her shoulder height as she just described. Before we finish off, I think it would be nice for us to quickly recap everything we've just discussed. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to establish our personal posture. I will present my hand to the lady and I will invite the lady into position. I make sure that my left elbows, my left elbow is connected to my left side and Talisa does the same. Good, and we're always trying to make sure that we are keeping our slight rotation to the right and maintaining our own space. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun walking you through our, our main ideas of how, of how we approach taking hold with each other. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get these updates and you see the videos as soon as they come out. Stay safe everyone and happy dancing.